As much as we all love to be creative, there are times when we just don't feel like painting. However, there are a few things you can do to kind of get back in the flow and to at least learn something new while you're not taking on a new project. Hey everyone, it's Ashley from Art Summits and today we're talking about three things you can do to get back in the flow when you don't feel like painting. Number one is to practice brush strokes. Now, this is really common in the calligraphy and the lettering world where you oftentimes warm up before you start your lettering with some practice strokes and some drills. For whatever reason, this isn't as common in the painting world, but it's really important and eye-opening to discover some of the different marks and lines that your brushes are capable of, especially if you have multiple sizes and types of brushes. You can practice just basic shapes and strokes and dots, or you can practice elements of larger pieces like the brush strokes needed to create loose petals and leaves. Number two is color swatching, and by now you probably know how much I love color swatching. I think it's really important, especially when you get new paints, or if you're just trying to figure out how to plan for a project, it's really important to plan out your colors. It's a very meditative process, and you'll very likely discover something new about your paints and the colors that they create when they are mixed together. If you need guidance or a process for swatching and mixing colors, or if you don't understand warm and cool colors and how they mix, then definitely check out my color mixing class. I will link it below. Number three is to organize your supplies. If you're anything like me, you probably have a ton of hobbies and the supplies to go with them. So make sure to take an inventory of what you have. If there's anything that is old and maybe not useful anymore, go ahead and toss it. And then if there are things that you're not using anymore because you're no longer interested in that hobby, donate them. Organizing your space, especially your desk, will make it a lot more exciting for you to sit down and actually create something. If you have multiple hobbies and there's a hobby that you're not working on at the moment, Go ahead and set that stuff aside so that it's not distracting and you can focus on the type of creative work that you want to do during this season of creativity. It's totally okay and maybe even preferred to focus on just one hobby or creative pursuit at a time so that you can really focus on it and get to know it well. And a bonus tip is to spend your time learning. And I don't mean speed tutorials on YouTube. Many of our students like to watch our classes one time through to help acclimate them and get a feel for what's coming ahead. And you can definitely do this too if there's a time when you don't feel like getting your supplies out. So instead of sitting down in the evening to watch a TV show, grab some popcorn and your iPad and watch a great tutorial. And I will say this is different from just mindlessly scrolling through Instagram, looking at other people create art. When you actually are watching a tutorial, especially if it's a good one, it's gonna help motivate you to actually wanna start creating that project that you're watching. So that's it for now. Let me know if there's anything that you like to do that is productive during your downtime when you don't feel like starting a new project. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.